What's going on guys, Sunny aka The Random Recorder here, and I don't think I have the highest standards for movies. Yeah, that's probably not the best note to start a review on, huh? But uh, anyways, when I'm rating or reviewing them, I usually think about whether the experience I had was good or bad. I like to ask myself how much would I want to experience this again? Was this something I want others to experience? And I'm usually pretty lenient with this stuff. So when I tell you that Army of the Dead, the newest movie by director Zack Snyder, is straight up bad, it should be a very clear sign that I did not enjoy my experience with this at all. Listen, I watched the Demon Slayer movie and then this one like a month after. Which one did I feel strongly enough about to make a video on? Yeah. For those of you who are a little lost, Army of the Dead is a Netflix original movie directed by Zack Snyder, who you'll probably know for making the Snyder Cut of Justice League which came out this March. Army of the Dead is about a team of mostly zombie hunters going into a zombie-infested Las Vegas to pull off a casino heist and rescue a few people. And this is a pretty good idea. Zombies are already cool and interesting, but put together with both a heist and a rescue is something that I really like. However, like many of Snyder's projects, the execution falls extremely flat. The dialogue, story, and characters here can often be frustrating, laughable, boring, or all three, and it all culminates in one of the most unsatisfying endings I've ever seen, which flat out sucks after watching 148 minutes of movie. The most positive thing I can say is that I laughed like six times and that I liked three, maybe four of the eight or nine leads that the movie has. This is because the cast here is generally bland and definitely carried by its actors. Nearly everyone here feels like a Valorant, Apex Legends, or Overwatch character but without the interesting designs, weapons, or abilities. One of them is a master locksmith, another is a YouTuber that kills zombies, a few war veterans, but none of them feel really well utilized or just interesting in general. Given Snyder's penchant for cool stuff and wanting things to be as crazy as possible, I wish he would have leaned into the eccentricity and uniqueness of the characters. Omari Hardwick's Vandero has a buzzsaw in this movie that he brings with him to cut down the zombies, and to my knowledge he doesn't use it a single time. Every action scene is just shooting until either the characters get out of the situation or an explosion happens, and that gets really tiring really fast. It also doesn't lean into high style shenanigans like it could have or should have. There was one funny moment I liked, but other than that, pretty much nothing. In Ocean's 12, there's a scene where one of the characters dances through a laser grid. It's super weird, and I only know about this because Carlos forced me to watch that scene. But I remembered it, despite not having watched that movie. And it's that kind of personality and energy that this movie sorely lacks. Of course, Snyder also tries to build up a semi-grand mythology with the zombies and their hierarchy, but it comes out half-baked and feels like a worse version of the media that inspires it. A lot of this movie feels half-baked, actually. Snyder sets up too many things that feel like they're going somewhere, either from a lore perspective or just an overall story perspective, but are dead ends. These zombies are dried up but are reanimated when it rains. That never happens in the movie. Uh, various other character moments and a few deaths also feel like they're going somewhere but end up nowhere. It would be like if I made a review that was like this. What's going on guys, Sunny AK The Random Recorder here, and today I'm going to be reviewing not very satisfying, is it? Now, because it's Snyder's first time doing the cinematography and because I want to develop some skill for critical analysis of filmmaking, I also want to talk about the visuals. I'm pretty sure Zack used one lens and one setting preset on his camera for the entire movie. Uh, nearly every shot is close up with an extremely shallow depth of field, and most everything is center frames. I'm serious, I literally just clicked around at random points on Netflix 15 seconds before recording this, and it's the same shot every time, even in wide shots in which there's no reason to do that. This is a problem that goes on for a whole lot of the movie too. The thing that irks me the most is that it doesn't feel amateurish or like Snyder isn't used to doing cinematography. It feels like a purposeful choice that to me made no sense and just flat out looked bad. I don't want to be harsh, but I've also never felt like a movie was a waste this much. None of the characters are fully realized, none of the lore or story setups go anywhere, the visuals made me think I needed to see my optometrist. This movie uses 148 minutes of runtime to go nowhere and do nothing, and that is the sort of crime that warrants this negative of a review. 
This movie is an experience that I didn't enjoy, and it's one that I hope people watching this video decide not to experience as well. Go watch Demon Slayer, go watch F9, go binge watch a few of our other videos after this if you can somehow survive that, whatever. Just don't watch this. At any rate, that's going to be all for this video. I'm not the biggest fan of making negative videos. It's definitely a little bit awkward for me to sort of come in here for maybe five or six minutes and just absolutely rip something to shreds. But at the same time, I do feel like this was worth it. And it's just sort of hard for me to want to talk about this movie positively. At any rate, we're finally on summer break and I'm very excited for the videos that we're going to be trying to put out over the next few weeks. If you're also excited, consider subscribing or leaving a like and comment on this video because it all helps. That's going to be all for today, guys. Run reporters, peace out. And make sure to take care of yourself. Bright light city gonna set my soul, gonna set my soul on fire. Got a whole